today. First, the Tennessee team's car roll. Packing them in again. The Monkees play Baltimore tonight, and Sloan Brown will talk with them in just a few minutes. God, they don't look any older. First, John Saunders has all of the days. The future next. this summer. Night Scott reporter Sloan Brown caught up with two of them today along with thousands of other oh, fans. Oh yeah. Remember screaming and crying and being madly in love with your favorite monkey? Guess who's doing the same now? Your kids. They made up about three quarters of the mob of people awaiting the monkeys at Sam Goody's record store at Security Square Mall this afternoon. Mickey Dolans, Peter Tork, and the absent Davy Jones have hit the road again, and scenes like this have once again become routine, bringing back memories of 1967 when the Monkees sold more records than the Rolling Stones and Beatles combined. Today's appearance was announced for 2 o'clock, and just like 20 years ago, fans started lining up early. 8 o'clock this morning, they were starting to get in line. Then the line went around the mall before we even opened the store this morning. So they've been here quite a while waiting. And like you can see the bracelets on the monkeys, the girls in line were making bracelets while they were waiting. It was all excitement going down today. Security was tight, the store's gate staying down until security people were in place. And just like you know when, the fans were enthusiastic, some bordering on manic, just like the 1960s. So where did all this born-again magic come from? I would actually say it was probably uh, an overwhelming imposition of the media's will upon the otherwise unsuspecting masses uh, who really we wouldn't like us at all. We paid a lot of people off. If, you know, and uh, money and power. And I think uh, some threats, I think, was probably yeah, what we you... threatened a lot of lives, and that's mm -hmm. what helped. Mm -hmm. I threatened Nikki's life if he didn't do this. <laughs> is what really They're cute. Davey's cute, and I like their songs. And I don't know. They're cool. Musical talent, they know how to use it more than some of the bands we have nowadays, and kids just like talent. When I was young and growing up, they were the bands. We stuck by them. Forget Herman Hermits, forget the Beatles. We were Monkey fans, and it's really exciting to be here and see them again. When you guys first got together, you were you in 1932. Received, yeah, you received a lot of criticism for copying another certain well-known band, the Marx Brothers. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, it is Marx Brothers. True, and, actually, um, the Three Stooges probably is to the level of our cultural uh, inheritance. So, how does it feel now, coming back and getting all this acclaim? Terrible, horrible. Isn't oh, it's really, it's, it's awful. Boring, it's like the God of the adulation, money, money all. God, wouldn't you be just bored to death? It's, it's just what a awful. dumb question. Yeah, right. I would. <laughs> what a dumb question. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> Now, they perform tonight at Pier 6. Sorry, but it is sold out. However, oh. we'll be there, and I'll bring you some of the concert, plus more of what Peter and Mickey had to say. Our producer's very upset. Carrie wants to know where Davy Jones was. Well, Davy Jones was feeling a little <laughs> under the weather, so he just passed on this afternoon. He will be there tonight, as far as Michael Nesmith. Michael wants nothing to do with the monkeys anymore. He wow. inherited $25 million from his mother. He doesn't need to be there oh. the whole bit, but... <laughs> uh, from obviously the three of them are doing just fine without them. Okay, great. Right, no more you. of this monkeying around now. Oh. Let's uh, go to Ken Phillips to find out what's in store probably for Clarksville in his exclusive 24-hour <laughs> forecast. Ken? Well,